Special thanks to today's video sponsor, Rapify. Rapify is a platform that pays drivers for what they already do, drive. Rapify transforms your car into a source of extra income by matching you with a campaign, wrapping your car, and earning while you drive. Rapify is live nationwide with campaigns across several cities in the US. To get started, download Rapify app today using the link in the description below. All right, so yeah. um, last week I got this on my app. I don't know if it's available to all your states or cities that you're driving in. Um, I don't think it's in San Francisco, is it, Gabe? Uh, I drive in. Um, well, now I've been driving in the East Bay because. East Bay. Uh, okay. No. Well, it's not. It's not available in San Francisco. Then. Okay. So this is something that I thought it was new to me because oh, the I preferred hadn't... areas. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Area preference. So um, I said, "Holy crap! This is what every driver wanted to have for years." Unbeknownst to me, that they floated this idea two years ago, actually, right before the pandemic hit and our good old Jake Crater, who's going to be a guest in a couple of weeks, um, had a video about this, which you guys can go see on Rideshare Guy on the YouTube part. Um, so the way it works is you pick your area and then the algorithm will keep you in that area. How cool is that for every soccer mom? The downside in LA, as big as LA County is, I studied the maps. I mean, it could for me, it could be like a 15 to 20 miles square area. So that's where I'm at. You guys see my little uh, cursor right there. So that takes me close to 20 miles north, at least 15 miles south, solid 20 miles east, and maybe 10 miles west. So that's a pretty big area. However, um, if you pick all of it, then you you know it's basically you don't need to pick all of it. You're just going to drive in all the zones because that's LA County anyway. But the good side is it will not take you to Orange County, meaning it will not take you too far south. It will not take you too far east or west or north. So that's one good part. So I had it all checked. That's what the map looks like on the right. On the left, it's my area. You know, I live in a suburb called Granada Hills. So it will keep me in that area. I actually gave it a test. It did keep me in the area. Unfortunately, what it did, though, was where when... Demand picked up in a zone, like it says Santa Clarita right above my little cursor up there. Um, Santa Clarita is 16 miles away from me. I kept getting request after request to Santa Clarita because they had no drivers in Santa Clarita. And mm. in Santa Clarita, it was surging like 25 bucks, right? So is it good? Is it bad? Yeah, I think so. I think it's good if you just want to stay in an area for a couple of hours, especially in those two small zones, if you guys can see where it says uh, West L.A., uh, yeah. In the middle, in the middle screenshot, and downtown LA, East LA. If you put, you know, your your choice in that area, that could be an additional DF for you guys. But then don't get fooled. That area is pretty wide. It's probably, you know, solid twenty to twenty five miles across. And in morning rush hour traffic, that could be like four days in LA. So be careful doing that thing, right? <laughs> um, so in LA, I think it's a good idea. The downside, one downside is only effective for two hours. So I don't know. You know, if you want to look, if you're a soccer mom, you drop the kids off, you want to stay in your zone for a couple of hours, eh, it'll keep you in the area. Pretty good idea. I think it's a pretty good idea. The fact that it's only two hours, I don't think is is that big of a deal. I mean, you don't want to stay in your area more than two hours if you're a full time driver anyway. You want to be where the surges. So to me, you know, another step up for uber from good old pink mustache because by the time pink mustache figured this out it would be like another three years uh <laughs> but well, you know i'll give uber credit for this one now i want to ask you one question since you have it already <clears throat> did you uh, i mean obviously la has a driver shortage there so this yeah. you might not notice this but are you seeing a few less rides because of that uh if you were just say, saying staying in that one area because Honestly, no, no, other... okay, no. I'm telling you, all these they are smart. Okay, they they um, you know cut it into six spots. Each spot has its own time and place. Like uh, on the west side, Malibu, you know, um, Richie Rich areas, that place goes nuts. Mm -hmm. Castle Mar and and uh, Pacific Palisades, that place goes nuts at like after midnight. You know, a lot of rich people get off home parties or whatever so that's good area 
in the morning in my area I th- i'm going to try this this coming w- this week actually in my area stay in my area because what i noticed is that you know when we put up that map the whole city is surging at like between 6 30 6 to 9 a.m so it doesn't you know i was like before i would beat my brains to get into the center to make the real money but now i'm making maybe five bucks an hour less but in my area there's decent money to be made so to me it's like I'm going to use it uh, probably tomorrow morning. Get out there with that two-hour limit, and let's see how it goes. Nice. All right.